Right, it is New Year's Eve Eve 2016, so tomorrow's New Year's Eve. Um, I sent a tweet out a couple of days ago. Here are the results. I hope you can read that. Um, I would like in 2017 to start blogging, or vlogging as I call it now. This is what I sent out, and this was the result. 60% uh, of you say that I should give it a go. I'm gonna post a vlog up um, because I have a new camera. Look at this thing, right? This is a uh, Canon Legra Mini X. It films from the side. So basically, you just hold it in the palm of your hand and no one even knows that you're filming. The lens is here, you see. It just sits in your hand, just like this. And literally, I could just hold it like this, walk around filming. I sit and watch YouTube bloggers and vloggers all the time. This guy is the Don. Now I have the small blogging camera I do not want to be walking around like this, like I currently am. I'm actually holding exactly what he's got in his hand. I'm holding it now. It literally is too much. I don't want to be walking into restaurants, venues and hotels and holidays with this setup. IFL TV, Coogan Cassius, probably the best boxing channel to watch on YouTube. Let's <laughs> go, Coogan Cassius is one of my favourite YouTubers. Really doing well. Rio Ferdinand started blogging now, and if you want, if you're a football fan, start watching him. Very, very good blog. I'm going to try this vlogging game uh, for January. I'm going to put about three or four vlogs up on YouTube. Um, I'm going to try and go for, let's say, a thousand views on a video. If I get a thousand views on one single video that I post up, um, I will keep going. It's all about the content, really. Um, I love sport, so I can probably vlog about me going to sport, me going to concerts, me going to comedy, and what I'll do, I'll throw in maybe one or two of me going to work. Um, but it all depends who lets me film. And if I'm getting paid to be at a venue or be working, I can't be walking around with a camera, even though I've got the small camera. Again, uh, it's a Canon Legra, as I've just said. It's got a fisheye lens, so it's not as as HD and as clear and crisp as this. Um, so it's more like a GoPro feel to it. Um, let's swap to that. Um, and I guess I better get to work. Time to swap to this bad boy. Right, can you see what I mean about uh, the fisheye? So the lens is totally different, but it is just so discreet as it just sits in my hand. So let's get in the car, let's get dressed and let's go to work. Right, first problem on vlog day one. Um, I need to go M25, M3, simple journey, should take an hour. M25 currently has 46 minutes of queues. I now need to go down the back roads all the way to my venue, which is gonna be, it's gonna take me two hours. As you can see, lovely day for a drive down the uh, country roads, but I'm not touching the M25 today. No way, after seeing all that traffic. This is a lovely little Surrey village called Bramley. After 300 yards, cross the roundabout, second exit, A281, Norsham Road. Please remain seated for the duration. I like this area. Very quaint. Bramley Barber's Shop. The Wheat Sheaf Pub. Been in there a few times. Cross the roundabout. Second exit. Hello, Guildford. After 200 yards, keep right, then turn right. A busy, busy, busy Guildford. Right, then you have reached your destination. I am finally here. This person doesn't know where he's going, just like me. So. I'm going to turn into here because there is a looking like there's a wedding going on. Right, I've arrived at my, my first one today. Um, going to be a good day, I think, because um, I've just been Christmas party mad. And this today is number one, a wedding. And then number two in the evening, some football. So um, it's a bit different from the Christmas parties. And tomorrow night is... Um, New New Year's Eve. So, check out the venue.
this room is absolutely lovely. But I'll spot you one thing, right? <laughs> this will be funny, look. See this little table on, on, on its own? Just here, right? And look, on the table, there is a uh, stopwatch. Stopwatch, that means there is a master of ceremonies here. And because he's got a stopwatch, I'm gonna bet he's over the age of 65. <laughs> here, I have white hair, he'd be quite short, have a red coat and he likes discipline and he's a time freak. Let's see if I'm right or wrong. <laughs> so there is a Toastmaster. And here's his jacket. Let's just see if he's over 65. So there you have it, a wedding just before New Year's. Just leaving the venue now. And off to the Madeski Stadium for Reading versus Fulham. It is cold. Just arrived at the Madeski. The nicest car park attendants in the world. They're very, very friendly, here we go. That's all, that's all right. I don't want to block anyone in. How you doing, you all right? I'm all right, you all right? Happy New Year. And to you, sir. <laughs> it goes great, doesn't it? It does indeed. Hello, mate. You're, you're back, are you? How you doing? I'm back, yes. How are you? You good? See you, see you in a few minutes. I'll see you in yeah. there. Okay, see you at the table. Hello, how are you doing? You alright? Good, thank you very much. I thought you'd been demoted. Yeah, I know. Working hard. This is good. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. How are you doing? You alright? I'm alright, thank you very much. How's the wedding? Good. Uh, the cottage is still listed. Do you know it's my. I'm not just. Saying. As you can see, the game has started, the restaurant is empty, but we have over here, we have the only survivors that don't want to get uh, cold. <laughs> and you can see the view is absolutely outstanding. You can see there, you can see, you can see all the lines, you can see the players running around. It's so foggy, it's unbelievable. I've just finished my stint. I didn't want to film any of it, because I'm not sure who wants to be filmed, but I'm gonna go and try and watch the game now. There is actually a really good case for calling this game off. Can you see the other end of the pitch? Can you see the goal? Can you see the corner flags? Can you see the ball? Can you see the players? No, there's no one. The game has been called off and it's not a happy uh, crowd. They're booing. <laughs> Apparently the problem is you can't see the other side of the pitch. So if the linesman can't see the other linesman, game called off. No one's very happy. Have a look, see if you can see the other, the other side of the pitch. And I can see now the fog has gone and we could have had a match. Yeah. Could have done. It's now 10 o'clock at night, but we could have had a match. <laughs> We're going to have a game of rugby. So that is that. Game called off because of fog. The fog has now cleared. Um, I'm off home. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the vlog today. The vlog, sorry, should be calling it vlogs. Uh, I'm going to upload this as soon as I can. Um, and uh, what do you think of the fisheye lens? I don't know what to think of it really. Uh, I have to see it on a computer or on YouTube, but um, maybe I'll keep using this camera, maybe, maybe I won't. 
But it's home time now, I'm back at the car and I hope you've enjoyed my uh, my day on New Year's Eve Eve. Um, I'll speak to you all soon. Great, and get myself home and then hopefully upload this to YouTube very soon. Um, I hope you'll enjoy it. Uh, subscribe and I'll try and get another vlog up when I start practicing. This is the first day of using this camera. I've never touched it before, so I have no idea what the footage is gonna, is gonna look like. See you later, and thanks for watching. Hope I haven't bored you with the sound of my voice.